today I'm going to do the follow-up video on this bug. I hear, I went and I looked up what this is called. This is actually called a horse bow. But I didn't know it was actually called a horse bow. It looked, uh, I thought horse bows or something else. Kind of like the, uh, the last bow I reviewed. But, uh, not bad. Uh, good quality. Here, let me show you guys what it's like. Unstrung before we get into anything too crazy. Uh, so, so far this uh, bow is pretty short. Uh, not not too long, it's about up to my chin, up to my chin right here. There's a, maybe a little, a little higher than my chin, or just like right there. All right, so that's good. It's short. It's got definitely a good reflex on there. It's definitely a short bow. Short bow design right there. I particularly like. And we'll do a couple of different uh, camera angles on this bow. Uh, the brace I have on this is a little high because I'm using a piece of 550 cord. The string it came with, I uh, didn't like uh, very well. It really, uh, it didn't look right. Or it looked like it was getting too thin too quickly. And I also didn't come with a pad for the arrow shelf there. But overall, I can put a pad on there uh, later on. But right now, let's uh, see how these work. I'm going to be shooting them with the broadheads. For the okay. I'm gonna use one of the broadheads at a couple different angles and start at 10 yards, and then as usual, guys will start moving backwards. And the draw weight on this bow is 55 pounds at 28 inches. Alright guys, so these were my first three up here. Those are the others that I shot right there. So, so far not bad grouping. Not uh, grouping for start, but let's uh, move back 20 yards and see what we can do. Shifting a little towards the right here uh, with these lighter broadheads. Oh, but that one went way left. So with the heavy head. A little bit to the left. Bird point. So give me a minute, I'm going to adjust the string, then I'll go and do another session. Alright guys, i got the string readjusted. Let's see if this one does any better. Start off with the deer head. Oh! Right above it. Right above it. Dead on, but right above it. Just low. Stop. Not bad. Last one, then we'll move the, the camera back again.
four in the center. Four or six. That's not bad. All right, guys. So that's that's how that twenty yards looks. I got four in the center right there. You know, they're kind of like riding on the edge there. It's still pretty good. These two were right near some of those white dots. I don't know if you can see that well. They're kind of faded. But let's move back to 30 yards see what we can do. All right, guys. Hold this one. Let's see what we can do. Start off with the white ones. See how they can do. Sound like a hit, but probably hit short. I'm gonna do another ram cat. That one just hit the top of the hay bale. Uh, bird point. That one hit beautifully. Yeah, best for last. The heavy, heavy duty one. I'm gonna do one more session and then we'll go ahead and take a look at those targets. Start with the bird point. Top target. So, guys, I'm still walking around with this bow. I'm still getting used to it. I'm doing long distance with a bow that I'm not practiced with yet. So, like I said, I'm getting I'm getting better with this one. Which there's no look at all the nice color in there. It's got a nice triangular shape to it. Which kind of like that. The hand's a little big for for uh, my hand there. Overall, it's uh, real good not finding any issues with it so I'm gonna go get those arrows and see if I can get a better one all right guys I'm gonna try to shoot a little bit higher above the target right there because I am at such a long range right now let's see what I can do So overall, the bow, it makes the distance. I just need to get a little bit more practice with it. I need to get a proper bowstring on this thing. I might have a proper bowstring actually in the house for this one. I just have to look around and like it. I just like to go and show you guys this one. Uh, gonna show you guys the numbers right there. 55 pounds at 28 inches. And it says 58 ammo. So, there we go. And as usual, I'll leave a link in the description box where you can find these. Alright, thanks for watching.